Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see different types of attributes. So the first thing we are supposed to understand what do we mean by attributes. So in the previous videos we have seen in entity relationship diagram, when we are going to represent entity, each and every entity has some properties or some attributes. Like if I say employee ID, so employee ID is uniquely used to represent each and every employee in an organization. So what is an attribute? Attributes are the properties which define the entity type. Attributes here, they are the several properties. Jaysay aap agar mujhe dekh pa rahe ho, you can see the pen in my hand, you can see mic at my ear. So these all are the things which is connected to me while making this video. So these all are the properties, okay, which is having some rules or which is used to identify, okay, what is going on currently. So in the ER diagram, it is represented by oval. So this is an oval shape. Now, the first important attribute is your primary key attribute. Now, what is primary key attribute? Primary key attribute is used to uniquely identify each and every entity in the entity set. What is the meaning of uniquely identify? So, we have seen, if I say I am having a college database, okay. In the college database, there might be a chance that there is one course. The course name is FY, Computer Science. And in the Computer Science, there are let us say 100 students. And there is one name common that is Aman, okay. So, Aman is a name and there are 10 students, those who are having the name Aman. Now, if I want to call one Aman, then how I am going to call? So, that is the problem. To reduce or to understand or to solve this type of problem, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to use employee ID or we are supposed to do student ID. Instead of employee, I will say student ID. So, student ID or I can say student roll number or student's exam seat number or I can say student Aadhaar number, student PAN card number, so student driving license. So, these all are the attributes which are used to uniquely identify each and every entity. So, attribute which are useful for identifying each and every entity and that is known as your primary key attribute, okay. Now, the next different type of attribute is composite. Now the words itself say composite which is composed of, है ना, जो किसी चीज से बना है, जैसे जब आप किसी medicine को देखेंगे, medicine में you can see there are ingredients, तो एक medicine में कई सारे ingredients का हम use करते हैं, similarly, मैंने से address, तो address में क्या होगा, आपका एक postal address होगा, आपका एक city होगा, you are having state, you are having country, you are having landmark, you have a street mark and so on, so this all information collectively known as composite attribute. Why? Because there are lots of different attributes and when we are going to combine it. So, then we will get a common attribute that is known as address and that makes it composite attribute. So, what we have seen? We have seen the first attribute which is known as primary key attribute. Then we have seen composite attribute and these attributes are very important questions for your examination because this is how in your examination, they can simply ask you what are the different types of attributes, okay. Now, the third different category of attribute is multi-value attribute. Now, what is multi-value? Multi-value means more than one value. Multi-value means more than one value. Like phone number, hai na? So, phone number, aaj kal sabhi ke paas do-do SIM card hote hai. So, one I can say, one is my official number and one is my personal number. Similarly, you can also have a two, three, four, five SIM number. So, phone number is an attribute which can be more than one value and while making a model, if you are having one single attribute which is having several values, then this will come under multi-value attribute, okay. Now, the four different category of attribute is derived. So, what is the meaning of derived? An attribute which can be derived from other attribute. As for example, I will give you my date of birth. If I say my date of birth is so and so. So, you can calculate my age. So, by using this date of birth, you can simply calculate my age and that makes us derived attribute. So, these are the four different types of attribute that we have seen just now and in your examination, the questions can be like, they can simply ask you a theoretical question, what are the different types of attribute or they can give you an attribute and you are supposed to identify which is primary key, which is composite, which is multi-valued and which is derived attribute. 
So in this video we have seen what are the different types of attribute for the next concept stay tuned for the next upcoming video thank you so much.